So this is actually the first day that it's been kind of cool outside. It feels amazing. It's actually overcast. As you guys can tell, there's a bunch of clouds outside. I was just walking down to the pond just to kind of see it because I haven't fished out here in a minute. And it's so beautiful, man. So beautiful. I kind of want to start putting the cat kayaks back in here. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. I feel like every time I do that, not many people watch it. Therefore, I feel like people don't want to see that. So... If you guys want to see me throw the yak in this place, as you guys know, it's fairly big. You know, it goes around that corner. There's a whole nother pocket, and then there's a whole nother huge pocket back over there. Um, let me know in the comment section below. I also want to start putting bait fish in here. Like, I want to go to, there's this little, like, gas station tackle shop down the street, and uh, they sell a ton of live bait, and I've been wanting to go there and get a bunch of live bait and start like releasing some live bait right here at the bank and see if I can start attracting bass and I can start feeding them. I feel like that'd just be really cool. I mean, my house is literally right here. Like I'm living on the water. So why not like start feeding the bass, man? I feel like that'd be cool. If you guys wanna see that, hit that freaking like button. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, man, hit that freaking subscribe button. Hit the like button, comment below, some video suggestions, some stuff that you guys want. Today we're keeping it very basic. We're gonna be searching for some big, giant, big, fat bass on some uh, big worms today. So let's go ahead and rig up some rods and then we're gonna be going to the place to try to catch some big fish. I haven't been to this place in quite some time, so it's gonna be very interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and start rigging up our rods. So this is actually what I have on so far. I got a little rat, got the old swanky man. The swanky, the old swanky man. And then uh, a shaky head. We're gonna cut all these off. Actually, the, we're probably keeping the swanky on, I love that. And the rat, you know, it's probably just gonna stay on the braided rod. I don't know if I'm gonna do much with that, but we will cut off the shaky head. All right, so I'm actually taking you guys on a little journey today, man. We're gonna be vlogging kind of the whole deal that we're doing today. And I just talking about, you know, how I'm catching the fish, whatever, because we are going to catch a big bass today. I've done way too many, no, I didn't do too many. I've done a few challenge videos in the last like two weeks. I got irritated. It's ready for me to catch some big fish. And I think it is, the, the time is due for me to film a big bass video. Okay, what do I need? I forgot my scissors. All righty, man. All righty. Well, so I told you guys we're keeping the schwank on today, and uh, that thing is just freaking awesome. If you guys are wondering, you're like, Noah, why the heck are you throwing like a crawfish pattern, like a red this time of year? If you want like a solid answer, I really don't know, man. I I, uh, I found this crankbait in my box when I ordered when I placed my order for six cents. I ordered two of them, and they were both in the same color and that's all i had so when i used it i started whacking them on it and they, they they're just eating it man so you know this time of year usually i want to throw this color but uh i talked about it in a recent video you kind of want to throw stuff that people aren't throwing so you know when you run into something like you don't always have to follow the fishing textbook i feel like people do that way too much like no why are you doing this why are you doing that why dude i make my own rules man you don't gotta follow the fishing textbook, dog. The people who follow the fishing textbook are usually sometimes the people that ain't catching them. I'm just saying, you gotta try new things. So at the end of the day, throw stuff that people weren't throwing. No one's throwing this color right now, man. And I, it is, it has been doing the trick for me. So I wanna keep it going. If you guys are wondering why I just retied that, I had like a little fray in my line. And uh, before we go trying to hook a big fish, we gotta make sure we tie that. Um, if you guys are wondering about the big worm that I'm throwing, this is a big old monster right there. As you guys can tell, this is in a plum color and we're gonna be tying this bad boy up. Where is my weight? Here it is. It's on a little bullet weight right there and a 4 eye EWG hook. Gonna be keep it very basic. We're gonna cut off the shaky head and tie this bad boy on. We don't want to keep it basic here, guys. We could be, we could keep it basic. We could throw the old shaky head, but guess what? We want to catch a big bass today. The sun is bright, man. By the way, if you guys want to check out the merch, I'll leave the link down below. It really supports me. I really appreciate it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we're doing it. I told myself I was going to do this, and we're doing it right now. Whoever ordered clothing last video, you guys ready? Shout out to Andrew Clark, John Blankenship, Michael Taylor, Corey, Alexis Spooner. I don't wanna I don't wanna butcher some people's last names, so I apologize for that. Julian, Aaron, Katie, John, Matt, Anthony, Zachary, John, Hannah, 
and Chad. Shout out to you guys, man. Thank you guys so much for supporting KTV TV and uh, purchasing some merch online. I really appreciate that. That is something that's gonna start coming into the videos. So if you guys do wanna check it out, be sure to do that below. But anyone who purchases some stuff, I'm gonna start shouting you guys out. I can't shout out every single person, but I will go on there and shout out five to 10 people every video that has to become a thing. And we're gonna finish up tying on and go catch some big fish. All right, so here are two weapons today. As you guys can tell by the title, that's our giant worm that we're throwing. I believe that's an 11 inch worm. Um, and then we got the old schwanky, okay? The schwanky, 10% off, link below. Um, pliers, we're gonna put those in our pocket. Shaky head, you're gonna go back in my truck and all right, we're about to take these bad boys out to the location Oh, yeah, a lot of people have been commenting about hey Noah We want to see you on the boat and guess what? There's actually one person that really wants to see Noah on the boat more than anybody and It's me man. I really want to get on the boat so freaking bad and I've actually already paid two boat payments and I still don't have my boat, man. And you guys are probably saying, no, well, why? Like, we're confused, and I'm finally getting the answer to this. Um, I'm getting the graphs put on right now. Not only am I getting the graphs put on, but I'm getting a bunch of other little things that need to be done to the boat out of the way. Because um, the boat is actually in Atlanta right now. I live in Savannah, at least I'm down here when I'm in college. So I'm gonna be going back up there. I'm, I'm praying in the next week. These grass have been on back order. One of the grass isn't in. The rest of the stuff's in, so we're waiting on that one grass. So I've literally not been able to fish on my boat because I'm waiting to get all this stuff done to it um, because I don't wanna have to keep driving it all this time back and forth if everything's not done correctly um, the first time around. So. Just stay patient with me guys. I'll promise you some of the boat videos are coming. I am more excited than anybody for those because I know exactly what's gonna happen once we get on the boat. We're gonna start filming some awesome content and you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So just stay tuned for that. All right boys, we made it out to the water. Big worm, crankbait, the old swank. About six cents. Hotness right there, I've been addicted. All right, we're gonna get this started. Starting off with a moving bait. You guys know I like to start off by covering some water with a moving bait and then slowing down to finesse bait. Um, recently, I've been having pretty much all my bites on moving baits. I got a lot of grass on this already, what the heck? Anyways, what I was saying, so I like to start off with the moving bait, cover some water. I've been uh, pretty much getting all my bites recently on a moving bait, burning it fairly fast. You know, this summer to fall transition, transition right now is happening. These fish are uh, starting to feed on some bait. I really can't get any on a slow moving bait, but that's kind of the whole purpose of today's video is you know searching for big bass with big worms, and I'm obviously gonna be throwing something else as well, but um, I kind of want to experiment and see if they're gonna eat you know, a slow moving bait like that worm. So yeah, we're gonna toss it around a good bit today and um, give it a shot and just to see you know how these fish have been acting, see if they're willing to feed on it. But um, yeah, man, I'd really love to get on a good swank bite as well, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, he spit it out. He spit it out. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> on the big worm. I started dragging it. Oh, he's not big. Gosh, I thought he was going to be a good one. You little twinkie. You little twinkie. You. Ooh. But thank you for biting. Needless to say, we got our first fish today on the big old stanky worm. Yeah, you're as big as the worm. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining. Like I said, I always, like I say, you got to start somewhere when fishing and uh usually it's a small one for the most part when i start so just about a pounder let's get back in there that's awesome to see a big worm bite i really want to get on one of these today i'm really feeling it the swank would be nice if they were feeding good but i just do not know man i do not know i don't even think we need them to feed good to eat the swank though i don't think that's something that has to happen I just messed up my worm. Might as well reel it back in. I need to put a new one on. Let's get us a new big worm out. Like I said, this is in a plum, old plummy color. It's just some I had. We're gonna cast this out. I actually hit something to cast before out there. I don't know if it was like some sticks or whatever it was. 
um, but I threw my other cast. And instead of hopping this worm, what I did is I just started dragging it, which the majority of the time on a big worm, that's you know how you get them. So I'm gonna start dragging this thing and see if I can start getting a lot of bites on it. Oh, <laughs> she hammered it. He hammered the big worm, dude. Let's go. That's a fatty, dude. He ain't big, but that is a fatty. Look at how freaking hunchback that thing is. Let's go, dude. Dude, he hammered that thing and just took off. Look at look at him. He's like a little hunchback. He's so fat. I don't mind that. He ain't a giant, but look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Second fish today, beautiful guy. We're upgrading every single time. Now the next one better be big. Oh my God. Why are they all small on the big worm? This guy ain't even, dude, you're smaller than the worm. Like easily smaller than the worm. Like what the heck? It's like a freaking, not even a 10 inch bass. Like why? I'm very confused right now, uh, but I won't complain. Thank you for biting, little guy. Little Jimbo. Little Jim Bob. Thank you for biting. Well, I don't like catching them like that. But if that's what we have to do to find the big ones, then that's fine. Okay. I thought we were getting a step closer every time we were getting bigger when we were catching the other ones. And now that guy just concerns me that was a small little twinkie we could just go and keep on casting all right all right alligator don't be thinking nothing weird now don't be do oh, oh why you turn your face don't you do it i'll get you yeah you're getting a little ballsy now you better calm down he really wants my swim bait you want it <laughs> Yo, you better calm down, dog. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better calm down. I stopped you right in your tracks. I'm gonna bop you on your head if you ain't careful. Larry, no. You followed me all the way back here, man. I was all the way down there. Larry, no, you bad boy. Oh. There he is. Oh, he's a good one, biggin'. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Dude, yes, 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 yes. I hooked him in the tongue. He's bleeding a little bit. Let me, let me handle this real quick. Gosh, he's not as big as I thought he was. He's bleeding a little bit. So guys, we're gonna weigh this really fast, okay? I didn't gut hook him but I hooked him in the tongue and that's usually like a weak spot on a bass. Zeroed out, weigh you so fast, buddy. Get you right back in the water. I think he's about three pounds. Oh my God, one ounce away. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Look at that beautiful fish. Finally a good one, man. Three pounder. Let's go. You have no idea how bad I've been wanting a good fish bite. There he goes. Look at him take off right there. Boom, let's go. Mm. Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go, guys. That's awesome. We did it, guys. We've been searching for a while, but we finally got us one. That's the size that we want is that three plus number. We sure made it happen. We're not getting many bites, man. We've been fishing for a long time, but you know, you gotta stay consistent. And keep doing it and he was right on this little grass edge and what i've noticed guys with this big worm today is when they eat it they all just hammer it okay they either hammer it or they're pecking at it to eat it and uh, that one was one hard hammer because i was a big one what they've been doing is they hammer it and right after they engulf the bait they start taking off every single one's been like that today it's been a long day but guess what we didn't give up kept it going and it's rewarding jerry's coming over here now i i am Jerry is probably the most sassy alligator that I've ever seen. Jerry, you, you need to just stay back. I'm not gonna play with you anymore. Jerry, you're a little sh you know that? <laughs> you think I'm kidding, man. 
I'm gonna hit you on top of your head. <clears throat> yeah. Put her back down. Come on, Gary. Yeah, that's what I thought, bro. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out, bro. What was I calling him? Was it Gary? All right, Gary. I think it's Larry. Larry, get out of here. You got some little arms, man. Skipping arm day or something. Little tiny shoulders too, man. What you gotta say? Oh, <laughs> you you talking back? Are you talking back, Gary? Yeah, get out of here, Gary. That's what I thought. Kids these days. Oh my gosh! Guys, this is a giant. This is a giant. He's running at me. This is a, like a very big fish. Very big. Come on, baby. He's running. Guys, this is a giant. I mean, a giant, giant. Oh my gosh. 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 Dude. Dude. Gee! Mm. That's almost a five pounder. That is almost a five pounder. Mm. Let's go. Dude, I knew you were giant when I hooked you. I knew you were a freaking big one. Look at that. Dude. I thought he was a lot bigger. I seriously thought I might have had a trophy there for a minute. The way he was tugging, but my drag wasn't all the way set. But when I hooked him, I didn't even move him. I felt his big head shake. All right, zeroed out. This is a four and a half pounder. I don't think he's quite five the way that I'm looking at him now. <laughs> wait, wait, why, why did my settings change? We don't have it on the right mode. Well, we're weighing in kilograms. Gonna have to convert this on my phone. I was about to say I weighed him and he said like two something. I'm like, what? Two point twenty one kilograms. <laughs> Whatever that is. Let's put it in a converter. Dude, that's easy for four and a half pounder, dude. Gotta be. Guys, that is what we're talking about. I promise you that's a four and a half pounder. Oh, that's a big one. Gosh, let's go. There he goes. Big girl was wore out, man. She was tugging. Mm, let's go. God, on a tough day like today, man. That's why you never give up right here. It was 2.23 kilograms, right? 2.23 kilogram to pounds. Oh my God, he was almost a five pounder. 4.91. Dude, that was a, we're calling it a five pounder, bro. Mm, let's go. Dude, we just caught a five pounder. I was about to say, like when I, when I, <laughs> I don't know how to change the settings on that scale, but when I first weighed him, I was like, what? Like it showed two pounds. I'm like, all right, there's something wrong. It's like, there, there is just something wrong with this scale if that thing is showing this fish to be two pounds. And then I realized that it went over 16 ounces and I was like, oh, this is in kilograms. There's nothing better guys than catching a big bass on a tough day like today. Solid five pounder on the big worm. Dude, that is so awesome. You guys better smash that freaking like button for that one. We've caught a three, we've caught a five. We caught one that was maybe a pound and a half and then like another pounder and then one that was just tiny. So we're doing pretty good for, you know, how tough it is today and how rough the fishing's been. But let's go ahead and talk about, you know, why that fish was possibly in this pocket. That's the main lake right here. Pushes off into this little pocket area. Big drop off right there. There's a ditch that heads out of this. And if you guys are wondering how I know that, I count down my bait and i figure out how deep it is out there and i can kind of feel it as dragging it up so i know that there's a ditch running out there's a flat right here and he was sitting right here on the edge of the flat not only was he sitting on the edge of the flat there was a slight i don't know if you can tell there's a little brush pile i think it's right there if you guys can see that and then there's a bunch of grass right here like i said fall pattern the fish are starting to push the bait up shallow we came to a pocket caught a five pounder that's exactly what we want to do Oh, he spit it out. He spit it out. Oh, he's running over here. He's running in front of Gary. Giant. Giant. Oh my gosh, he's huge. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, dude. He ran right up on the bank. He's for dude, look how fat he is. Look how like he's barely hooked. Oh my gosh. Dude, is this gonna be in kilograms again? This fish is over four. Or he's about four. Oh no, I think it's in I think it's right now. My heart is racing. Oh my god, he is four. Oh my god, four pounds, one ounce, dude. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Dude, that is a football if I know of one. Look at his fat belly. Don't call me right now. It's not a good time. <laughs> hey, Norm. Yeah, I got you. Hey, let me release his nine pounder real quick. Oh, heck off. I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. But hey, let me release this fish real quick. It's four pounds. Hold on. Let me say you aside. Hold up. Guys, look at his belly. Solid four pounds, one ounce. Let's get him back in. They're loving the big worm, man. Look at that football. Oh, yeah. Let's go. They're out there on that flat, guys. Just what I was saying. Right here, pocket off. They're starting to push the bait back in the pockets now since a summer to fall transition. Sitting out here on the flat, baby. Let's go. Dude, I've been having a tough day, man, and I just, I, I hooked a three. He was like three pounds, one ounce, I think. And then I hooked a a five, bro. And then I just caught a four. Like, two days football. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in a 